This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. And we would once again like to send a big thank you to Kika Goods for sending us all of these products for free. So we are once again going to be reviewing a full case of BJD action figures or ball joint dolls that we received from Kika Goods. Um, Kika Goods being, you know, of course, an online retailer of many different sorts of dolls, toys, and collectibles. And once once again, they have shared a discount code with us, so if you use our code TOYCHAT10, you can save yourself an additional 10% off any purchase on KikaGoods.com, so we will link that in the description below. Um, and we have previously reviewed some products from Kika Goods. Um, if you missed our last ball joint doll review, uh, definitely check that out. I will link it in the description below. But today, the series we're going to be reviewing is called Teen Nar High School Students Club. Um, Teen Nar, I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> um, but the impression I have is this is from the same or a very similar like line of ball joint dolls. Um, I think think they're going to have the same or extremely similar um, sculpts and articulation to the previous ball joint dolls that we reviewed. Um, the manufacturer is once again Simon Toys. Um, so yeah, Simon Toys is the manufacturer of the of these um, and Kika Goods is the online retailer that we received these from and that you can purchase these from. So currently on Kika Goods website, um, the full price per blind box of this series is $29.99, but they are on sale at this time of recording. They're 37% off, so you can get one for $18.86 and you can get an additional 10% um, off that if you use our discount code TOYCHAT10. Um, so yes, this is a blind box series, so if you buy one, you do not know ahead of time which one you're going to be getting, but these look really cute. The theme definitely seems to be, you know, high school students in a variety of different clubs. And as we discovered in our last review, these dolls do have fabric clothing that can be shared across some other mini doll lines, including um, LOL Surprise Tweens, Barbie Extra Minis to a certain extent. Um, so yeah, they have really adorable, shareable fabric clothing. Yeah, so it looks like from the listing you can actually purchase the hair piece or the face piece separately. Um, so like the face piece, there are seven total. And the hair piece is six pieces and you can actually purchase them as a set separately from these dolls which is kind of cool. So these uh, figures encourage mix and matching, creating your own character, which is really cool. Yeah, that was something we didn't do much of in the last review was actually swapping like the pieces to, com so you can completely customize your own doll. You can like change hairstyles across these dolls and you know, swap the hair pieces, change clothes, mm -hmm. whatever you and want. And you can do. actually purchase some like fashion packs too for them if you don't like the, the clothing that you got with your figure. You can actually buy them separately. Yeah, they're yeah. super cute. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and jump straight into what the case looks like, because again, we have a full case. This is a full set of six. Um, Kika Goods was kind enough to send us a, f a complete sealed case. Um, so we're gonna see which ones we get, mm -hmm. um, because yeah, there's a core series of six, and then there is, um, possibility of getting getting a hidden style of figure, you know, or like a chase, you know, like a rare one. And there, so there's two in this series? Uh, so, so there is one hidden character. Um, her hair changes color, but in the packaging you can either get a chance of one of two outfits for her. So in addition to a secret, you're gonna an outfit oh, yeah. variant, yes. yeah, yeah, which yeah, which was the same from the previous series, and yeah, the the variant clothes are sometimes a little more luxe. So, mm. so let's see what we got. Um, yeah, so this is the front of the box, or I guess this would be the top of the box once you set it up. But you can see some of the characters' artwork, very cute. Um, yeah, and we do also see. So I wonder, S S C doll. I wonder if that's the name of like this line. It's school club. School club doll. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we so, have. Yeah. So I think the the line is Tenar High School Club or Tenar High School, and this series is called the School Club Doll. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, and then on the side here are three of the potential figures, one out of six, bought on the box. Here's the other side, I guess I should put this this way. Yeah, here's the other three girlies, very cute. Um, and then again, it's the company, Simon Toys. Tenar. 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 <laughs> Tenar, yeah. Tenar, so it's Tenar mm -hmm. High School, and I think the line is Students Club. Okay, let me go ahead and set this up and take a look. All right, so here is the full case set up as you would see it in retail. Um, it's super cute. And so of course, each individual one of these boxes is one blind box BJD figure. Um, and the packaging is adorable, as you can see. It this has is the, the, ba girl? the bakery oh. club girl. She's, I think she might be my favorite one. She's super cute. I love the art. And on the side, we can see um, all six possibilities in the main series, as well as a silhouette of the hidden figure. So it looks like from the top left, it is the tennis club. Then it is the news club. And then the blue girl is the chess club. And then the pink girl is the bakery club. And then we have the art club. And then the last one is labeled K on club. So if you guys know what that means, let us know in the comments. Cause I'm trying to figure out what it means. Like, yeah. I, I, don't I don't know. It's she, some kind of music. She looks, yeah, she has a guitar, so it's something music related. Um, and once again, it says, yeah, one out of six rarity for the main series, of course. And the hidden figure is one out of 96. Ooh, so that's one that's, out of how many boxes is that? I mean, I'm not doing math, <laughs> but it's one out of something, something box yes. cases. Yeah. Um, so that is the science club. Yes. And uh, the back, there's some information and product warnings. Um, of course, yeah, it looks like a lot of it is not in English. But um, the bottom is the translation down there. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Students and all that, club. materials, and yeah. Yes, and we have the Simon's Toy logo on this side, as well as on the bottom, Simon Toys, full of joys. And yeah, that's pretty much the packaging. So we're going to go ahead and get started with unboxing our first one. So as always, you get started with your little tab right here. Oh, well we got the one we were just kind of discussing. Yeah, so this is the K-On Club Girl. And yeah, they do come in little plastic blisters. Oh, her little accessory. The guitar is so cute. And oh, she oh she has a little bow. Yeah, so it's a magnetic bow. So cute. Yeah. Yes, and so also comes with instruction. Okay, it looks like this might be standardized across all of the dolls. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the other side and uh, nope, there's no English on this, but but it's, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, it lets you know how to take apart the joints. Yeah, these these look about the same. I think they're the same. I think they're the same. Yeah, so if, if you're curious of like the articulation points of these dolls um, and like kind of how to swap the pieces, everything like that, um, check out our, our previous video. We go through that in detail there. Um, so yeah, I'll link that in the description. But yeah, these these dolls are very poseable um, and they do also, once again, come with some nice hand swaps. Um, I'm curious if it's pretty much the same hand swaps as last time. I think so. Yeah, it's like a little index finger sign, pointing, love a love peace sign. I wonder if they get the heart. Yeah. Yes, and we and we did last time. We were a little bit of a struggle bus swapping the hands. It's kind of uh, challenging because yeah, they the the ball joint dolls. These ones, they they have like string kind of attached to the joints. Well, there, there's little hooks on at the end, so they're yes. gonna have to hold the hook and then swap up the hands. So that's yeah. the little card that it comes with, so you can get more information about your figure. Yes, um, and then there is a collector's card. A, yes, so there's a collector card, and we realized, we learned from our last set of BJD, they come with a uh, batch of stickers, so you can make your own little, like, paper doll, basically. Yeah, and I guess you, just, you can also customize them if you have 
multiple sticker cards. Yes. Yeah. All right, so let's dress and assemble her. So here she is, fully dressed. She comes with a lot of layers. She has her schoolgirl outfit on, so like the top with the uh, ribbon and like the Sailor Scout flap. Mm -hmm. um, and then she has that gray sweater that's a separate piece. Um, and then the pleat, the pleated skirt is a separate piece. No underwear, so she's you know, going commando. <laughs> yes. um, and she has those shoes, those uh, Mary Janes. Um, mm. Cute, cute. And then oh, for yes. her accessories, she comes with a bow that is magnetic. It's amazing. It's like so, cute. so adorable. And yeah. then she has her guitar that has a strap in the back so you can just wrap it around her. Yes, and I wonder how easy it is to do that. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like you'd have to like... I think you can just wrap around her arm or you can take off her head and wrap around like... Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah it'd probably be easiest if you pop her head off. Yeah. yeah. Super cute. Um, so something we noticed is ours came with like another whole set <laughs> of accessories and clothing. Um, and the impression we have is that's probably a, like a manufacturing error. Um, we appreciate the extras, <laughs> but but I'm assuming that's not intended. I guess we'll, we'll find out shortly. Okay, we're gonna open number two. Ooh. I think this is the chess one. Uh, okay, so it's one outfit in here. So yeah, that extra one. Oh, she comes. Oh wait, no, that's a that's a fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Okay, so yes, it does look like the, that was a mistake. The last one that included like a duplicate of the outfits and stuff. Okay, but here's her card. Little paper doll card. And then here's the sticker right here. Yes, you can dress her. And of course, once again, she comes with the hand swaps and little instruction booklet. All right, let's dress her up. So here we have Chess Club, and she is really, really cute. She's very blue. Yeah, so she comes with some glasses without any uh, lens. Um, you kind of hold it in place with her hair. So you kind of like, when you take the headpiece off, you kind of slide the glasses on. So that's how it's held. Um, she also has a cute little hat. Love little flowers. Sort of like a beret. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this, yeah, sculpted flowers. Very nice details. It's held on with a magnet. Yes, it's magnetic. So you can pop it on and off pretty easily. It has like a checkered pattern um, and her hairpiece has sort of like little sculpted on sort of like barrettes or little hair ties. Mm -hmm. And she's wearing a really cute little school uniform sweater. The sweater and the shirt underneath are all one piece so it's just a sweater with the collar. Um, there's like a ribbon kind of like necktie right there that's a separate piece and it has looks like a little emblem or pendant in the center. Mm -hmm. So it's actually pretty cool. If you look closely, there's actually pretty intricate sculpting on that little um, like emblem on her ribbon decoration. And yeah, she has a black pleated skirt. Um, once again, yeah, it opens in the back with Velcro. I love her socks. They're so cute. It's so chessboard. Oh, there goes her break. <laughs> but um, but they're so cute. Yeah, they're like checkered black and white socks. It's perfect for her. Club. Yes, really cute. She's very preppy. Yes, and she's wearing black Mary Jane shoes. Mm -hmm. So she comes with a very, very teeny tiny accessory. She has a chess piece. I don't play chess, so I don't know what piece this is, um, but really cute. Yeah, part of me kind of wishes she came with like a little like a full set. A little chess board mm -hmm. or a set or something. Maybe that's too much to ask, but but yeah. And I think there is, cause yeah, they, they all come with hand swaps. It looks like there's one or two like clasping hand swaps that she could use to, to hold this. Box number three. Oh, cute. So this, I don't know who this is. <laughs> oh, the tennis girl. Oh, is this tennis club? Yes. Yes, so here is her paper doll and her stickers. All right, so yeah, it's all the same usual stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get her dressed. 
Okay, so here we have Tennis Club. She's adorable. <laughs> she is. She's uh, a lot more colorful than the other girls we opened. She comes mm -hmm. with like green and some lavender and some blue. Yeah, Max was just saying like she looks kind of like frog themed. Yeah, you'll and you'll see why more in a moment. But um, but yeah, she's wearing a really cute green headband with adorable little sculpted flowers on it, and she has kind of a cute little side ponytail. Her, her lavender sweater is it's a hoodie, so you do need to pop her head off um, to put this piece on. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not very hard. You just like pop it off pretty yeah. much, right? And yeah. her little bow tie is attached to the hoodie. And also the the pocket on the torso of the hoodie is it's sewn closed. Um, so yeah, nothing nothing can go inside. She is wearing a cute pleated skirt. Once again, it's like plaid-ish kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and she has tennis shoes, of course, because she's on the tennis club and she has green socks. And yeah, very cute. And her accessory is absolutely Precious. She has a tiny little froggy bag um, and yeah, it's like, you know, tiny little frog and if you open it up, there is a really small ball inside, like a teeny tiny lime green ball. Um, you can remove it, but I don't know if I would recommend doing so. <laughs> um, it's really small. Um, it doesn't have any markings on it to like identify it specifically as a tennis ball or anything. Yeah, it's like a ping pong ball to be honest. Yes. It's really small. Yes, but, but yeah, her bag is very, very cute. All right, so box number four, we're still missing. Um, Bakery club, news club, and art club. Yes. I see pink. Is it Bakery Club? Ah, oh, it is. Ah, oh, it's my favorite one. So cute. She's so pink. Yes. This is an outfit I would wish they gave us a double of. I know, seriously. <laughs> so cute. So here are her paper doll stickers, and here is her collector paper doll card. Okay, let's get her all dressed. And here we have Bakery Club. This is totally my favorite one. She's adorable. Um, she's very, very pink. We were talking about how her hair sculpt, it, it seems like it has a really light translucence to it. Like almost like it was, or maybe yeah, it was, it's like a painted over translucent sculpt. Um, so yeah, it has, it looks very light in person. It's definitely lighter than like the, the illustration of her. The it illustration looks, of her is like a really, almost like magenta. Like a rosy pink, yeah. yeah. Um, she has really cute flowers and little ribbons sculpted on either side of her head near her little pigtails. And she has the cutest little baker's hat, which once again is magnetic. And her outfit, of course, she has a really adorable, you know, like traditional little, well, you know, a, a schoolgirl uniform with, with like a baker's apron, basically. Yes. It's, so the, yeah. the top and the apron are two separate pieces. Yeah, very, very cute. Love her little, you know, the little ribbon on her sailor uniform. There's a very lovely fabric ribbon attached to the back. Um, so one thing we noticed is in the back, you'll see there is, there's a button closure here. We were not completely certain whether or not it was safe to pry that apart. Um, like we thought we might have to pull her body through. Um, you can detach this. It is like a button closure, like what you'll see on like a, a collector Barbie or something like that. It's a snap. It's a, yeah, it's like a snap, but just, yeah, just, you know, be delicate, be mindful, you know, while you're taking that off. And of course she has her cute little pink with a white stripe pleated skirt and she has gray socks and cute little rosy magenta Mary Janes and something very adorable as well. She does also have a tiny little whisk accessory. Um, I'm sure there's certain hand swaps where she can hold this, you know, a little more securely. Super cute. All right, we are down to our final two. I don't think we're gonna get the secret today. Don't you put that into the universe. Oh, uh, she's green. 
Oh, it's the art club girl. I love her. She's, oh, so, she's cute. so cute. Yeah. So adorable. Uh, she's so minty, minty green. Um, here is her paper doll stickers. And here is her paper doll card. Um, yep, all the same stuff. So we're gonna go ahead, dress her up. All right, so this is Art Club all dressed up. Um, this is very cute. She has kind of like a minty green hair that also kind of has like that translucent effect to it. Um, very cute. She has a cute little, yeah, beret, like a little hat that has a little white bunny on top. It's the cutest thing ever. Adorable. Super cute. Uh, one thing I noticed with her is she has little piercings on her left ear. <gasps> oh, she's so edgy. I know. <laughs> that means she's you know, a rebel. Yes. She has a fur collar that goes around her. Yeah, and the, the collar you do have to put on separately. Separately, yeah. and you have to pop her head off yes. to get it on. Um, and then underneath, she has on a sweater that's attached to her shirt underneath that's gray. And then, uh, of course, she has this really cute, uh, kind of like a shawl boa piece that's really fluffy. Um, yes. There's a metal wire underneath so you can mold it to the shape that you want. It's, which is a really nice detail. Yeah, so if you want to have almost like a, like a windswept look or you wanna like, you know, Mold it, mold to, it her, yeah. to what you're posing her for. That's so it's really cool. That's a really nice detail. And then she has a, a green pleated skirt that has a plaid pattern on it. And then she has black socks with brown Mary Janes. Yes. And she okay. does have some really cute little accessories. I wonder. Oh yeah, the th little finger. This is pr probably not the ideal hand sculpt for her to hold, but she does have a really cute little artist palette with some paint dots. And she also has a really cute tiny little paintbrush as well. Okay, so we're on our last one. So it's either gonna be the news girl, news club girl, or the secret. Or the secret. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's the news club girl. No hidden figure no. for us. I actually really like this one, so I wish she I don't is mind. Really, yeah. She's really cute. Since we're here, we're going to compare her body with the other Simon's Toys um, BJD doll. Okay, so here on the left, uh, we do have the Lee Roro Summer Island uh, BJD figure, one of the ones we reviewed in the last video. So we did end up discovering these sculpts are not identical. Um, the so the the Tinar dolls have slightly smaller bodies. Yeah, everything's kind of shrunken down a little bit. Yeah, but it looks like they have the same amount of joints. It's just the body sculpt is shrunken. Yes, and also one of the key differences too is the Tinar ones. Uh, they do not have inset eyes, so they don't have like the little eye chips that you can swap out. Um, for, from the looks of it, though, the, the articulation points, it looks like, are the same. Um, do, do these, they have the string and everything, the string attachments on, like, the thighs and all that? Yeah, they're, they're BGDs. Yeah. So they are, yeah, so, it, so they're, they're structured the same, they have the same articulation points. Again, if you want a detailed overview of that, check out our last video. But yeah, just these ones are, they're a little smaller, um, and they do not have the inset eyes. And here is News Club's paper doll card and stickers. All right, so we're gonna dress up our final girl. So this is News Club, and she kinda looks like Horror Club, cause with her hair straight up, like she looks scared. She, looks, she got spooked. <laughs> yeah. She got some bad news. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's really cute. But yeah, she has like, like straight up little pigtails. Mm -hmm. um, She's one of the only characters that doesn't come with any um, head accessories. Yeah. Yeah, like in a like, separate piece. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's really cute. Those uh, little bow ties are attached to her head naturally. Um, she has a little puff for like little puff balls for earrings. She has earrings. Yeah, the other ones don't really have no, earrings, right? Uh, yeah. The, the art club girl has painted on little like mm -hmm. piercings, but yeah, she has little puff balls that are painted. Sculpted on, right? Yeah. Not, mm -hmm. And so this is on her face plate. They're on attached. Yeah. They're attached to her face plate. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, her outfit's really cute. 
uh, her undershirt has a ribbon collar that has like the same like kind of gold emblem on there. Um, and then over it is kind of a, a dress with a, pleat, with a pleated skirt, um, some embellishment in the front, and everything zips, uh, everything uh, velcros in the back. And this is, is it all one piece? Um, this shirt is a separate piece. Yeah, yeah. so cute. Yeah, the shirt is separate. So she has white socks, but also she has these kind of uh, leg cuffs. Leg warmers? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so cute. They're so soft. And they have like little green X's on them. Mm -hmm. But she does, yeah, she has white socks underneath yes. that. And standard black Mary Janes. Of course, because she does the news. She's a reporter. She has a cute little camera with a string tied around it. She can carry it or put it around her neck, whatever you'd like. All right, so these are our final thoughts on the BJD action figures, Teenar High School Students Club. Uh, thank you again to uh, Kika Giz for sending these to us for free. Definitely I would have you know, purchased these on my own. They're really cute. I think as a collection, I love them all. There isn't like one that I dislike. And I really appreciate that all of them kind of still has a, a schoolgirl aesthetic, but they're all very different from each other. And there isn't anything in here that's very specifically to each character, so you can definitely mix and match them more, more like fluidly, which is really cool. I think the one thing I would have changed is some of them kind of have more value than others in terms of like how many pieces they get. Like the uh, the art club girl kind of comes with a lot of few, a lot of things. Like she comes with a shawl and and hat and like yeah. paint supplies. While like I feel like the chess girl doesn't come with too much stuff. Yeah. Same thing with um, the news club girl. Um, she's really cute, but she doesn't come with anything besides her camera. But they're all really cute. Like I I love them all. I think my favorite might be this news club girl. News, oh, the news club? Mm-hmm. I thought you said the snooze club. Oh my god, that was <laughs> the, so amazing. The snooze club girl, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think these are very, very cute. Um, I think overall, between the two series that we reviewed from Simon Toys, BJD, um, the Roro Summer Island was probably a little more up my alley of personal taste. They were, you know, a little more pastel fantasy colors and the hair and, you know, things like that. There was They're a little of, bit larger and they cut yeah. those inset eyes that we really like. Yeah, yeah. The, in, the inset eyes do make a, a really big, big difference yeah. in the aesthetic, but these are still extremely cute. Um, I think the thing too, if you're if you're a bigger fan of slightly more casual, everyday like school wear in like doll clothing, these these fashions are going to be really nice to have. Um, and yeah, as we mentioned previously, these clothes are shareable with um, a few varieties of mini dolls. Like this is one like one twelfth scale. If you're going to share the fashions and you want to use the complete look, you're going to have to put them on mini dolls. More yeah. like more like one. 12th scale. I think that maybe the skirts might not, nah, well maybe the skirts might fit like like OMGs and stuff. Maybe even like Gen 1 Monster High, it might be like a short Yeah, skirt. like a skirt, but like you the could... skirt, but I think the, the tops in particular, because like the sleeves are so short, they, they want to fit any one No, scale. that's the thing is even though the, I think the torsos of these fashions would fit a lot of dolls, the, the sleeves are going to be way too short. Um, for for one six scale, but yeah, again, they are as we explored before. They are shareable with smaller, you know, mini dolls. And well, yeah. these are the smaller ones. They they don't they're they're smaller torsos in those. That is true. Yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting these ones are slightly smaller than um, the Liroro Summer Island dolls. It's obviously going to vary, but these dolls themselves, I think they're very cute. Like I said, they, you know, they have more of kind of like a cute, you know, casual school wear aesthetic. My personal favorites, I love Bakery Club and I love Art Club. I think those two are super cute. They're like a little more pastel. Um, all of them are really cute. Um, I do kind of agree with saying there's certain ones that feel like they pack a little more value than others. Um, but honestly, there's there's a lot of really lovely details here. Um, honestly, the the sculpting on the hats mm -hmm. is really impressive. It's like really intricate sculpting of like the little flowers and like the bunny, you mm -hmm. know, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan yeah. of that. I think that at standard price, like at thirty dollars, a blind box figure, they are a little on the pricey side compared to like what we get here in the United States. Most of our dolls are like twenty five dollars, but I think. 
when you factor in that they always are having sales and you can use our discount code toy chat 10 mm -hmm. um like what well, these were like on sale for like 16 dollars like these are i think great value at those prices yeah even yeah. currently without our discount it's um under twenty dollars yeah. yeah for for one you know they're obviously they're they're very posable there's certain aspects that i i wish they were a little more posable but it's is it's really cute the different poses you can put them in um and definitely again some of some of these pieces and accessories feel very luxe the k -On club character her like her big mag magnetic bow mm -hmm. piece is really nice oh, it's like sure. a really beautiful like you know, kind of luxurious detail on her, um, and a magnetic piece is great because you can put it wherever you want, pretty much in that in the area with magnetism. So yeah, I mean, I think they're super cute. I think they have a similar, you know, cutesy kawaii aesthetic to Liroro Summer Island. Thank you so much for joining us for this review. We hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let us know your thoughts on these BJD figures in the comments. You know, are you a ball joint doll collector? Have you purchased any of these previously? Definitely let us know. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Related playlists will be linked on screen here. Let us know what you want to see us review next, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.